Hi booktube, Lynette here. Um, I've decided to have another go at filming. Um, I'm going to do my October TBR today but first of all I just want to say thank you to everyone who's stuck around while I've been absent for the last few months. Um, I haven't really talked about this on here because I kind of just disappeared. Um, but one of my cats was taken ill in June and was put to sleep in early July. Um, I'm not going to go into details because I just get upset and cry. Um, and then during the month of July, I also had some two very sad pieces of news, uh, different types of news, but sad pieces of news about family members. And I just, yeah, I just decided that, no, um, I filming <laughs> went on the back burner. Um, and I needed to focus on re recentering myself, getting myself back on an even keel. I really did start to struggle and yeah, filming, filming was not important. Um, but during the month of September, um, I put up on Instagram stories, a, a TBR and I kind of loosely kept stories updated with what I was reading and how, you know, the books I'd finished in the month. And I quite enjoyed that and I found myself over the last few days looking for templates um, because I'm no good at sorting them out myself so thank you to all the creators uh, who make Instagram story templates. Um, I found myself hunting for templates to put up an October TBR and to talk about what I'm reading as the month goes on and I thought you know what why don't I just commit this to film as well. So. If uh, you follow me on Instagram, then you may have seen my Instagram stories over the last couple of days. I've put my TBR up there. Um, I'll just put a little screenshot of it there for you. Um, but let's go through the books that I plan to read. Um, I'm being a little bit ambitious. There are nine books on this TBR. But when I looked at how many books I've read over the last nine months, I've read on average 8.6 books a month. So I don't think in terms of like two of these books are not whole books that I want to read so maybe I can keep up with my trend of 8.6 books a month. The first book that I'm going to talk about is our October pick for Cozy Book Co. Uh, this is the book club I'm in run by Jess McGlynn. Um, Jess I'm sorry I always I always say I'm going to do this um, but I will try and remember to leave a link down below in the uh, comments. Um, but we are reading for the month of October, Killers of a Certain Age by Deanna Rayborn. Uh, when we were voting, I read what this was about. Um, and I read what the other two books were about as well. And I can't remember what they're called. Um, but I wanted to read all three. Uh, so I voted for three and I was absolutely no help at all. So the other ladies in the group picked this one for us. Um, it's... Um, I'm just going to read the blurb out to you. So, older women often feel invisible, but sometimes that's their secret weapon. Billy, Mary Alice, Helen and Natalie have worked for the museum, an elite network of assassins, for 40 years. But now their talents are considered old school. When the foursome is attacked during an all-expenses-paid trip to mark their retirement, they realise they've been marked for death by the top-level members of the museum. Working together is the key to their survival and they're about to teach the museum what it really means to be a woman and a killer of a certain age. And it says Charlie's Angels meets the Thursday Murder Club in this action-packed globetrotting adventure full of twists, turns and whip-smart women. I mean, books about women um, being the force of nature that we are <laughs> are always... Um, uh, always a great read anyway uh, so I definitely was looking forward to picking this one up and uh, I went and bought it as soon as uh, payday came round I went and picked up a physical copy even though I could get copies for cheaper elsewhere I'm currently banned from my library um, so I can't get library copies at the moment um, I've been very naughty and not returned books when I should have but really looking forward to picking this one up. Um, if it's as good as it sounds, I think it will make for a very good discussion at the end of October. When I was looking at my shelves, trying to decide what my next read should be, I realised that there were a couple of 2023 releases that at the point that I pre-ordered them, because I did pre-order them, they were highly anticipated reads for me and they came out at the beginning of the year and I haven't got to them yet. 
So I've decided to prioritise a couple of those. The first of those is God Killer by Hannah Kana. This cover is gorgeous. I think this is going to get the most gorgeous cover of 2023 at the end of the year. I did get the Waterstones exclusive copy that is signed by the author. It has a beautiful sprayed edges. Um, I think the ends are just black. Uh, it has beautiful end pages. I mean, why didn't I just, just for the aesthetics of the book alone, why didn't I pick this up as soon as I had it in my hands? So definitely going to be picking up this one. Um, I have been wanting to, um, I, I keep looking at it on my shelf and thinking I must get to it. I must get to it, but I never do. So, uh, October is going to be that month. Um, it is about a young woman uh, who makes a living killing gods um, until she meets a god that she cannot kill and they are both on the run from unknown assassins. Um, and other than that, I don't really know very I don't really remember very much more about it. All I remember is I saw the cover and said I have to have this. Read it, realised it was fantasy and yeah. Um, pre-ordered it at the time and it came out I think January I think it came out I've had this on my shelf since January um, and I haven't touched it so definitely a priority for the month of October the other 2023 release that I want to prioritize is Atalanta by Jennifer Saint I have loved everything I've read by Jennifer Saint although I've only read two things by her because she's only had three releases and the third one I haven't read yet um I was absolutely blown away by uh Ariadne and then Electra um and now I want to know about Atalanta Atalanta apparently was the only female crew member of the Argo um and part of Jason's band of Argonauts um now this is a retelling um it jennifer saint does a lot of uh investigation she does a lot of um looking back into the myths and she bases her stories on those myths she retells the myths and she makes it a priority to retell the myths from the point of view of the women from that time um and i'm very much looking forward to this because again it's another female-based uh book and I've been enjoying the books that I've been reading from um, the Greek myths, the, the, the fiction retellings. I've been thoroughly enjoying them and, and the little snippets of, of the myths that they've been giving me because I've always been interested in Greek mythology, um, but I've never, even though I've been told many times to sit down with the Iliad um, and other uh, works, I just never do because they just feel like such a chore to me. But reading fictionalised versions of it... Um, just really I once I start them I can't put them down so that is priority number two uh, because again I had this on release day it's signed by the author it wasn't the Waterstones exclusive copy but again it has beautiful end pages it's a gorgeous book I mean it's just plain black on the inside um, but it is just beautiful and I need to sit down with this and finish get started and finish this one as well the next three books are going back to a challenge i set myself at the beginning of the year i had two long-running series that i uh one of them i'm partially rereading because i've by no means read all the books in the series um the other one i am rereading the book the first 14 books i will reread um after that they will all be new to me uh, but there are a lot of books in the series and I'm still only in, or at the time I was still only in single figures for both. So I wanted to make them a priority for series to continue this year. Not series to finish, just series to continue. I set myself the challenge of six books in each. Um, I haven't done so well with that. I am kind of catching up a little bit. Um, I've got three months of the year left and I think I need to read four books from one and three books from the other completely doable they're not um difficult reads they are swift fun in some ways reads for me 
um, but yeah um, I shall just tell you what they are so the first series is the Discworld series by Terry Pratchett and I have set myself for the month of October because I have only read two of them this year um, I need to read Moving Pictures and Reaper Man uh, Moving Pictures is primarily set in Ankhmore Pork, I think, and it's based around the camera and filmology, um, kind of um, businesses, I can't think of the right word, um, and how they come to be in the Discworld, uh, which I absolutely love. Terry Pratchett did such a great job of um, making fun of all these industries, that was the word I was looking for, making fun of all these industries um within uh modern society and putting them in a fantasy setting and all these characters um uh, that just are a little bit ridiculous and i just have so much fun when i'm reading his books um i am at the point now in the stories because i think these are books 10 and 11. he had then really hit his stride with his writing and his humor i'm past the bit where it you know the point where it's just a little bit um stilted and i'm i'm just thoroughly enjoying the ride uh the second book was reaper man that is um a not, i think that's the third book set um in the death cycle of books uh so this will be following death and i think uh, this is one where he decides he doesn't want to be death anymore so he goes off and he works on a farm um, because he has the scythe and he's so good with it um, and it's all about his adventures there and uh, how others in his plane of existence have to take over his duties and again I mean I haven't read it for many many years but I'm really looking forward to picking it up. The second series that I set myself to finish for the or set myself to make progress with is the Temperance Brennan series by Kathy Rikes. Now this one I've done a little bit better on. I've read three of these um, so I only need to read three over the next couple of months. Um, the next book in the series is Crossbones. Again I don't remember what these are about. Um, they are crime fiction, they're um, not police procedural but they are of that, they're, they're from the basis of Temperance Brennan, she is a forensic anthropologist and she is, um, she uses the bones and remains to solve the murders, um, so the murder mystery slash crime, I thoroughly enjoyed them, um, Kathy Rikes is the only crime author that I've ever really gotten into, I've read odd ones by others um, previously but I've never sat down and followed a series like I did these, um, it's just that uh, at the point that I think it was Spider Bones as it's called now but I think when it was originally released in the UK it was called Mortal Remains when that book came out I was hitting a real big slump and I just lost track of the series and didn't continue with it. But this will be, I think this is book eight in the series. Uh, again, thoroughly enjoying the series, thoroughly enjoying being back in the world of Temp Brennan. Um, my thinking with setting six of each for the year was I could alternate them month by month but mood reading at the beginning of the year just didn't allow for that and uh, it didn't happen but I'm in the mood for TBRs right now so um, let's see if I can get through all three of those books in the month of October. October is spooky month there is all sorts of you know if you have a good look around YouTube there are all kinds of different readathons going on um, the one that caught my eye was Spookopolathon by Becca and the books um, I'm not going to take part, uh, but one of her prompts on the um, on the board was Stephen King, and I have Stephen King books on my shelf. I have two Stephen King books I haven't read, um, but no, I had to go with an old favourite, and I have gone back to Rose Madder by Stephen King. I've talked about this book a lot on this channel. Um, it is one of my absolute favourites. It originally came out when I was in my mid-teens. Um, and I fell in love with it then. It's not a horror novel. Um, there is a part in here that is quite horrific um, in its description and there is an element of fantasy towards the end um, woven through it a little bit. Uh, 
basically the two main characters are a little bit crazy i don't think that's giving too much away um but yeah i love this book i think i have read this book in excess of 20 times maybe in excess of 25 times this book i mean this book is 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 in too good condition to have been read that many times my original copy um i no longer have uh i passed all my stephen king books on a few years ago to a younger stephen king fan um and i hope they had fun with them but a few years ago a good friend of mine um took the mickey out of me for uh having too many books on the go and um we set me or i set me the challenge um because he, they laughed at me set me the challenge to finish some of those books and i said to them if it puts me in a book slump you have to buy me a book to replace it and it put me in a book slump and this is the book that replaced it uh, so this particular copy has only been read once before but um i could not resist picking it up in spooky month uh, as you can see i have already started um it's the third of october when i'm filming no second of october when i'm filming this um, and I did pick this up yesterday and read um, some 80 pages. I'm looking forward to picking it up again later on today. I know this story. I know how it plays out. Um, I know what happens. I know... Yeah. Um, so it's not going to be any surprise to me. I just settle in for a fun ride. There's been a couple of things in the first 80 pages that I didn't pick up on before. A little bit of foreshadowing for something that comes later in the book. Um... But I've never picked that up before and considering the amount of times I've read this book uh, I do find that interesting how we can read books over and over and over and still find something new um, every time we pick it up. So definite uh, looking forward to this one, probably going to be my first finish of the month. So going back to the reason why I have that copy of Rose Madder. Um, I have quite a few, and it's in double figures again, books that I've started and put to one side and haven't finished. So I decided I need to do something about that as well. Um, I've only picked two. The first one of those is Before They Are Hanged by Joe Abercrombie. This is the second book in his first Law trilogy. Um, I do have the third book there ready to go. Um, however, I didn't invest in a new copy. I bought that one second hand because the series is okay. It's not blowing me away. The third book might change all of that. I don't know. But I started this. I've only got this left to go. I think if I were to read a little bit each day, I only need to read less than 10 pages a day to um, finish it by the end of the month. Um, however, I think I'm just going to set myself the challenge of every time I pick it up to read a chapter. If I pick it up every day and read a chapter every day, I'm going to have it finished by the middle of the month easily. Um, but I'm not going to, if I miss a day, I'm not going to stress about it. There is so little of it left to go. Um, this is following on from book one, obviously. I uh, can't really talk to you too much about it, but it's just furthering the stories of all the main characters we met in book one. Um, there is war looming on the horizon. Um, there's some things happening that I don't really know. I'm not quite sure where the plot's going. And I, I can't really tell what the end outcome could potentially be. You know, the, the magic system, I don't think I really understand. I'm just not getting it. Um, basically, I don't think uh, this series is for me. To be honest, I'm not 100% certain Joe Abercrombie is for me. I tried reading his young adult series many years ago, read the first book, didn't bother carrying on. So I'm determined to finish this series out though. Um, and let's see how I get on. Um, and I'll let you know if I finished it by the end of the month. And the final book on the TBR is a challenge and I've talked to you about this book a few times before because it's been on various TBRs in the last 18 months um, and that book is Lord of Chaos by Robert Jordan book six of The Wheel of Time now I know I'm hitting the slump 
and I think that's part of my problem is I know that the books next few books from here on out are a struggle to read but you know what I want to finish this series I the reasons I gave up on it I mean yes okay I gave up halfway through book nine um the, you know it wasn't the best of uh you know books there was long because Robert Jordan was then quite ill there were long waits in between each book um and they were a slog to get through um and another reason I gave them up was at the time they changed the freaking covers um they, they had these beautiful painted covers um, when I first started reading them. And the first nine books um, that uh, came out um, had these gorgeous painted covers. And then when I then kind of thought, you know what, I should finish Winter's Heart. I should go and pick up book 10 because book 10 had come out. They changed the covers. And they were, the, they were black with gold on them. Um, and I just was done I was like you know what I don't want you know because I knew this wasn't the end we were nowhere near the end of the series and I knew we were nowhere near the end of the series and I was like I'm gonna have half a series in one set of covers and half a series in another I'm, I'm, I'm not doing that um so I had stopped um and I didn't bother going back to finish Winter's Heart but a couple of years ago during lockdown actually um I ordered the full set of the series I didn't want to risk um, being without the whole lot in matching covers. Um, once again, I quite like these covers. I actually prefer these covers to the uh, TV associated covers that are out now. Um, and yeah, I'm giving them a go. Um, so yes, I am in the slog. I've only read that much. There are 55 chapters. I have read four. Um, if I read a chapter or two chapters a day, I will finish this by the end of the month. However, just like before they are hanged, if I don't read it every day, I'm not going to stress about it. I'm just going to try and make a decent dent in this by the end of the month. I have worked out that if I read 26 pages, uh, the number of pages I've got left, 26 pages a day, I will finish it. Um, again, I'm not, I'm not going to stress. Um, I am going away at the end of, uh, the week that I'm filming this. Um, I'm just going away for a few days. I'm going on a reading retreat with Jess who runs the book club. Uh, she's, uh, run the reading retreat. Um, we're going away, uh, to spend some time in a cottage or farmhouse, um, in Wales. I haven't decided if I'm going to take these two with me. I might just stick them in the car and if I pick them up, I pick them up. If I don't, I don't. Um, probably the books that will get read during that weekend are books on my e-reader because it's easier to take that stack of books with me than it is to uh, take a whole stack of paperbacks. Um, and hardbacks. I might take either God Killer or Atalanta, uh, potentially God Killer. Um, I might take the book club pick because another of the book club ladies is there as well. Um, it might be nice for me to actually try and finish a book early in the month instead of on the day that we have the meeting. Um, yeah, so that's my kind of ambitious TBR. Now, I did set nine books for September and spoiler, I, I read nine books. I didn't read all nine books I set myself, but I will maybe film you an update on that um, after I've done this one. And we'll see how the rest of the month goes. Um, yeah, I'll catch up with you at the beginning of November to let you know how I got on. Uh, did I finish or get a good chunk into either of the two that I haven't, um, that need to come off of my TBR or my currently reading list? And, um, We'll see where we go from there. So, have you got any reading plans for the month of October? Are you taking part in, in any uh, readathons? Chat to me in the comments down below. Let me know uh, what's going on with you. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.